Hi guys, um, it's me again. So in this video, what I'm going to be looking at is factorizing a quadratic function, right? So just a reminder, um, hit like on my YouTube channel and hit subscribe so you'll know when I post new content. Um, I do give online maths, chemistry, physics, and soon to be add maths classes, right? Um, All right, so let's start with something simple, right? Let's factorize this. Now, when you're factorizing a quadratic, first of all, if something is a quadratic, you're gonna see an x squared two, right? Now, when we say we factorize in a quadratic, let's say we have something like this, x plus two multiplied by, let's say, x plus five, right? And I wanna multiply this bracket. I'm going to take my first term by my first term here. So x by x will give me x squared. Then I'm going to take x by plus 5. That's going to give me 5x. Then I'm going to take this 2 and multiply by this. So I'm going to get plus 2x. And then I'm going to take this 2 and multiply by this 5. And I'm going to get plus 10. So when I simplify this, I'm going to get x squared plus 5x. Sorry, 7x. Yeah, x squared plus 7x plus 10, right? So what I've done, I've multiplied these two brackets. So in terms of factorizing, I'm moving from the quadratic function, right, to this here. So this process here is what we call factorizing, right? So we're doing a reverse process. Now, here's what we want to factorize. The question is x squared plus 5x plus 6. That's what we want to factorize. So there are some students who can look at this and factorize it in one go, and that's fine. You'll get full marks in the exam once your factorization is correct, right? But normally what I do, I teach a foolproof method, right? Using sum and product. And no matter what expression they give you, you'll be able to work it out. So here's what's happening here. Now, we are starting off with the expression x squared plus 5x plus 6. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I need to find two numbers whose sum is equal to whatever the coefficient of x is. In this case, it's plus five. So we're looking for two numbers. When you add them, you're gonna get five, right? And when you multiply them, you're gonna get this. It has to be the coefficient of x squared multiplied by my constant, so one by six. So I am looking for two numbers whose product is gonna be six, right? So Two numbers, when I add them, I'm going to get five. And two numbers, when I add them, I'm going to get six. So you need to play around with these two numbers, right? But if I use, let's say, three and two, three plus two is going to give me five. So the sum is five. Three multiplied by two, that's equal to six. So the product is six. So these are my two numbers that I'm going to use here. Now, what do we do with those two numbers? I use those two numbers to replace my middle term here, which is 5x. So I'm going to write x squared plus, these are the two numbers we're using, right? So we're going to put x squared plus 3x plus 2x plus 6. So what I've done is essentially replace that middle term, that 5x, with two numbers, which are 3x plus 2x, right? Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use the method of factorizing by grouping in order to finish this. So if we look at the first two terms, the only thing I can factor out here is x. This is going to be x plus three, like in my previous video, right? Don't put a sign here as yet. Don't put that sign as yet. So the only thing I can factor out with the next two terms will be two, and this is gonna be X plus three, right? Remember when you factorize my grouping, the two brackets need to be the same. So therefore this has to be a plus sign here. So therefore my final answer is gonna be X plus three, right? And this is gonna be X plus two, right? So this is how we factorize this particular quadratic here. All right, now let's do our next one. We have x squared plus 2x minus 15. So first thing, we need to find two numbers whose sum right, is equal to this number here. So the sum has to be equal to 2, and the product has to be equal to the coefficient of x squared multiplied by minus 15. So one by minus 15 is gonna give me minus 15, right? 
So we need to find two numbers whose sum is two and whose product is minus 15. So you have to think about it a little bit, right? If I have minus five and let's say plus three, minus five plus three, oh, sorry, that can't be right. It should be five and minus three, sorry. Right, so five plus minus three, I'm gonna get two. I'm gonna get a sum of two and five multiplied by minus three, I'm gonna get minus 15. So we're gonna take these two numbers now and replace the middle two. So it's gonna be X squared plus five X minus three X minus 15, right? Then I'm gonna factorize by grouping. I'm gonna pull out my X here and this is gonna be X plus five. Don't put your sign here as yet. The last two terms, what we can do, we can factor out, three can be factored out, and this is gonna be X. Remember the brackets need to be the same. So I'm gonna put plus five here, right? Now you have to decide what sign am I, gonna, am I gonna use here? This has to be a minus sign, right? And this is gonna give me X plus five multiplied by X minus three. So that's my answer when I factorize that particular quadratic. Let's do our next one. So we have two X squared plus seven X plus six. So we are looking for two numbers whose sum is the coefficient of my X. So the sum here is equal to um, seven and my product has to be the coefficient of X squared multiplied by my constant. So that's 12, right? So we are looking for two numbers whose sum is seven and whose product is 12. Right, so let's see four and three. So four add three will give me seven. So the sum is seven and four multiplied by three, that'll give me 12. So these are my two numbers I'm looking for here. Next step, replace the middle two. So you're gonna use two X squared, right? Plus four X plus three X plus six, right? And now we're gonna use grouping to factorize this. So we can pull out two X Right, and this is gonna be X plus um, two, X plus two. Don't put your sign here as yet, right? And you factorize the three X plus six, we can pull out three, and this is gonna be X plus two, right? Because remember the two brackets need to be the same. So this has to be a plus here. So therefore my final answer is gonna be X plus two multiplied by two X plus three, right? And that's how we factorize 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. Let's do another one here. Um, so in this one here, we have 6x squared plus x minus 2. So again, we're looking for two numbers whose sum is equal to the coefficient of x, which in this case is 1. And the product right, is going to be equal to 6 multiplied by minus 2 which is minus 12, right? Now you have to ask yourself now, what two numbers when I multiply them, I'm gonna get minus 12 and when I add them, I'm gonna get one. So if I use minus three and four, minus three plus four, I'm gonna get plus one and minus three by, by four, I'm gonna get minus 12. So these are my two numbers that I'm looking for here. So the hardest thing is to figure out those two numbers, you know. So this is gonna be six X squared. You replace it in middle term. So this will be minus three X plus four X minus two. When I factorize the first two terms here, I'm gonna pull out three X and this is gonna be two X minus one, right? Don't put your sign as yet. And the only thing I can factor out here will be two. And this is gonna be two X minus one, right? So now you have to ask yourself, what sign am I gonna put here? This sign has to be a positive sign, right? So this is gonna give me two X minus one by three X plus two, right? So that's what I get when I factorize this. Let's do our next one. So factorizing a quadratic, many students have serious problems with this, right? So ask yourself, we need to find two numbers whose sum is equal to this, right? That is minus seven and whose product is equal to this three multiplied by two. So that is six. So two numbers, when I multiply them, I'm gonna get plus six. And when I add them, I'm gonna get minus seven. So those two numbers are gonna be minus one and minus seven 
Sorry, the minus one and seven. What am I doing? Right. So it's the sum is minus seven and the product is six, right? So one sec. Let me just double check that expression there. Just give me one sec. Let me just double check something here. I hope I, I wrote down the, the correct thing. Sometimes when you're trying to do things quickly. So 3x squared minus 7x plus 2. All right, yeah, it's correct, right? <clears throat> so the two numbers that we are looking for here, right? So if we use minus one and minus six, right? Minus one plus minus six, I'm gonna get minus seven. And minus one multiplied by minus six is gonna give me six. So those are my two numbers. So this will be three X squared um, minus X minus six X plus two. Right? And if we factorize the first two terms, we can factor out X and this is gonna be x squared minus, not x squared, sorry. It's gonna be x. Yeah, so this is gonna be, um, let's erase this here. Yeah, so this is gonna be three x, right? And this is gonna be minus one. Then we're gonna factor out, so don't put your sign here. So six, minus six x plus two, we can factor out um, two. And this will be 3x minus 1. So this sign here needs to be a minus sign. So this is going to be 3x minus 1. And this is going to be x minus 2, right? So that's what I get when I factorize this. Now, we have a, another one here, right, for you to try. Now, the only way to get this is to practice a lot, eh, guys. So in this particular one here, we're looking for two numbers whose sum, right, is equal to whatever this term is here. So that's minus 11, right? And the product, right, has to be six multiplied by three, which is 18, right? Now the two numbers we're looking for there could be, let's see, minus nine and minus two. Minus nine plus minus two will give me minus 11. Minus nine by minus two will give me plus 18. So we're gonna replace the middle term. So this will be six X squared minus nine X minus two X plus three. So what we can factor out here, we can pull out three and X open brackets. This will be two X and this is gonna be minus three. Don't put your sign as yet. Um, you have nothing common with the last two terms. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull out a one, right? And the brackets have to be the same. So this is two X minus three. So therefore in terms of sign, this has to be a minus sign. So this is gonna be two X minus three multiplied by three X minus one, right? So like I said, the only way you're gonna get this guys, you have to practice it a lot, right? I have an next one here. So we have three um, X squared minus eight X minus three. So our sum has to be minus eight and our product 
has to be this three multiplied by minus three, which will give me minus nine. So let's see. Um, if we use one and minus nine, one and minus nine. One plus minus nine will give me minus eight and one by minus nine is gonna give me minus nine. So we're gonna replace our middle term. So three X squared plus X minus nine X, right? Minus three. So when we factorize this, all we can pull out here is X and this is gonna be three X plus one. Then don't put your sign as yet. What you can factor out here is three and this is gonna be three X and this has to be plus one, right? So to make that happen, this has to be a minus sign. So therefore, this is gonna be three X plus one multiplied by X minus three, right? Now, there's another example that I wanted to give you guys. I just remembered it there. Sometimes we are asked to factorize something like this, X squared plus four X, right? And we are asked to factorize this. If you have to factorize this, all we need to do is use the ATF method here, right? The only thing you can factor out here is X, and this would be X open brackets, X plus four, right? If I had to factorize something like this, um, close this brackets, two X squared um, plus, let's say six X, right? Then I can factor out two X, and this is gonna be X plus six, right? So keep that in mind, you could get a quadratic where you don't have a constant at the end, right? So like I said, guys, so this video was basically about factorizing a quadratic function, right? And like I said, if you all are interested in online classes, maths, chemistry, physics, and add maths eventually, right? That's later on, 868-784-2059, um, um, right? You can send me a WhatsApp, all right? Um, so take care, guys.